Hello my young friends, yesterday something very strange and surprising happened. You would recall that the National Testing Agency, the NTA, announced the schedule for the JE mains. It said that the examination will be conducted four times in calendar year 2021 and the first edition would be held between the 22nd and the 25th of February 2021. But within hours of that announcement, the Union Education Ministry said no decision has yet been taken as far as the engineering entrance examination is concerned and soon thereafter the detailed information note that ran into some 50 pages was taken down from the NTA website. The question that one is obviously asking now is what exactly is happening within the education ministry and the NTA? Why was the NTA rebuffed in public like this? It's quite obvious that the NTA and the Education Ministry are not quite working in tandem. There is either no coordination between the two or there seem to be some serious differences between the NTA and the Education Ministry. The third possibility of course is that the NTA was not supposed to put out this note. It was the Education Minister Ramesh Pokhrial Nishank who was supposed to make this announcement in public. And that's precisely what is going to happen today at 6 p.m. That is the 16th of December 2020. So Ramesh Pokhrial Nishank, our Union Education Minister, will announce the schedule and also the number of times the JE mains will be conducted in 2021 at 6 p.m. today. Now, if you recall, this is not the first time this is happening. And let me jog your memory. You would recall sometime around the 20th of November, the Director General of NTA, uh, Dr. Vinit Joshi, had said during a webinar that the JE mains would be delayed by approximately a month, which means that the JE mains will be conducted sometime in the middle of February, the second half of February. But a few days after that, the Education Minister said he will now consult all stakeholders, that is students, parents and teachers, and seek their opinion on when the JE need and board examinations should be conducted in 2021. It obviously meant, and this is what the perception goes out, is that the education minister wants to have the final say, not the NTA, not the CBSE, not any other bureaucrat within the working within the education ministry. Now, obviously, we are curious to know what we can expect at 6 p.m. this evening. Now, since the NTA pulled down its information note and the minister is going to announce the dates today, one can obviously expect some change because obviously what's the fun if Ramesh Pokhrial Nishank is going to only come and announce the same schedule all over again. There have to be some changes in order to justify the pulling down of the information note and the education minister coming out and making a fresh announcement, right? So the change can either be in the dates the schedule or the examination pattern oblique the marking scheme. Remember, there were some changes which were made and we've explained that in our video yesterday in great detail. Now, here, one of the most overwhelming views that has come from many students and parents is that this schedule that starts from February 2021 puts the present class 12 batch at a disadvantage because many of them have not even been able to complete their syllabus till now. Plus, they have the regular board examinations of 2021 to prepare for. Online classes have been a huge disappointment along with network issues and various other problems. So, the batch which is going to take the board examinations in 2021 for class 12, the students and their parents feel that they are going to be at a disadvantage and this schedule with four attempts is actually much more helpful to the droppers that is students who had given the examination in 2020 did not get through. They have had more time to prepare and to revise uh, whereas the class 12 students haven't found the same kind of time in order to prepare well and then go on to revise and be well prepared for the JE examination in 2021. So that is one strong view that has come from the stakeholders and let's see whether the minister will address that particular concern. Now let me come to the Andarki Khabar from the NTA. 
Now the second point that was raised by many students yesterday is was whether these four attempts will be only for the calendar year 2021 or even in 2022 and thereafter the same four attempts will be maintained as far as the JE mains is concerned. Now I got in touch with the senior NTA official after the schedule was announced to ask this and he said and I'm quoting his answer verbatim. We will evaluate the response of the students and see. This was his answer. I also spoke to a prominent educator this morning and he said that this is being seen as a progressive step and the NTA and the education ministry will now find it difficult to reduce it from 4 to 2 especially because of the reasons that were quoted. We had uh, explained that in our video yesterday that one of the reasons given was that students are being given the attempts that they normally get in two years in a single year, right? So therefore, the number of students who decide to take a drop year should now come down. That was the justification given and this logic would apply even in 2022, 2023, 2024 and so on and so forth, right? So basically now the education ministry can say that we are now giving every student, every candidate a fair chance. The third point that many students were asking was with regard to NEET, asking if JE mains is getting four attempts, what about NEET? Why should we get only one attempt, right? It's like, you know, why should JE main students have all the fun kind of a question. So I asked the same question to the NTA official and this was his response. And again, I'm quoting him. NEET is being finalized. It does not look likely. Okay, this was the answer from the NTA. Now, this is the official response of the NTA. But let me say this. In light of whatever has been happening around the JE mains dates between the NTA and the education ministry, the final word on everything now is that of Education Minister Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank. So if Mr. Pokhriyal wishes to go by the views of a majority of the students who wish to have more than one attempt at need, who knows that could well happen. I don't know. I am telling you what NTA says and what could possibly happen. But what officials tell me is that as far as NEET is concerned, this is going to be a bigger challenge because of the number of students who take this examination, 15 to 16 lakh, as opposed to JE, which is conducted in many shifts. So the number of students is much less at a given point in time, also because it is an offline examination. So these are the twin concerns as far as the officials are concerned. But as I said, the final word is likely to be that of Union Education Minister Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishang. So that's as far as the uh, inside news from within the NTA is concerned. Let's wait for 6 p.m. as to whether the Education Minister says something drastically different from what was announced by the NTA in its information note yesterday. Thank you very much for watching. Do stay tuned to Filter Copy for accurate, reliable and fact-based information from the world of education. Thank you very much for watching.